If I'm a Jags fan, I am just, I can't believe my eyes really this off season. Just a couple of years ago, the Jacksonville Jaguars had Urban Myers, the head coach train wreck. The franchise is like, what are they going to do? Like shut the franchise down. Like people are even going to come anymore. Like, what do we do? Next thing you know, boom, they got the right coach. They got the right quarterback. And now they've got playmakers all over the field, including a running back that I'm going to tell you about today. That's just awesome. If you're new to the channel, we make videos and cover teams that deserve to be covered and ones that don't get covered by the national media. Jaguars being a perfect example of that. They've got playmakers all over the field. I'm going to show you that, but there's one player in particular that I don't think we're talking enough about a stud running back, Travis Etienne. Remember he was picked kind of weird. And this was an urban Meyer pick. It was like a first round pick. Uh, okay. I mean, he's a running back. He's good. But the more you look into him, this guy is legit. So, he missed all of twenty two, all of twenty twenty one. Then last year he comes back from a Liz Frank injury and was great. Put up eleven hundred yards, <laughs> five yards per carry, and he ended up getting into the end zone just five times. This is an NFL.com article that says I don't see why he doesn't get into the end zone twelve to fifteen times, along with thirteen hundred yards rushing. And I was like, nah, I don't know. And I agree with this because if you go back. And this is crazy about this guy at Clemson. Remember, he's there at Clemson during their their real prime run, 2017, 18, whatever. 2017, as a freshman, as a freshman, he led Clemson with 800 yards, 13 touchdowns. As a sophomore, they win the national championship. He has 1,700 yards and 24 rushing touchdowns and leads all of college football. It's like, oh, yeah, this guy like was good. Do I mean, do we not remember – how good this guy was 2019 excellent almost eight yards per carry in 2019 so that in in 2020 he finishes his career with 264 all-purpose yards and a win over boston college point is this guy is really good every year at clemson he was over a thousand or right at a thousand yards multiple touchdowns anywhere from 15 to 25 touchdowns a year at Clemson right so he's really good he it's fine he was drafted in the first round goes to the Jaguars sits out for a year because of an injury the next thing you know he's back and you're like dude this guy is prime for a breakout season even last year was it would be considered a breakout season but he's just prime for it and then you combine that with everything else that the Jaguars are doing and it's like holy smokes look at this look at this offense all of a sudden trevor lawrence check travis etn yep christian kirk yes kelvin ridley are you kidding me yes kelvin ridley it was almost he in this meme era that we live in because of the gambling it's just like oh man it's that guy that was gambling yeah it was but he's also the guy that's really good craig did a video on him you can check that out on our channel kelvin ridley is really good Zay Jones. Yup. Evan Ingram. Okay. Absolutely. And so the next thing, you know, if this offensive line can hold up, you have a really good offense. And so then you go down to the defensive side for the Jaguars. It's no slouch. I mean, Devin Lloyd, Josh Allen. I love Trayvon Walker in year two. See what, see what that looks like. And if he can really take that next step and become a dominant edge player, rusher being a dominant guy that you know can slide inside as well and just really impact the game in a lot of areas i'm a jacksonville jaguars fan and i am just so excited because and i keep talking about this and this is what i think about when i think about nfl teams because being a lions fan look at it i don't i just need to be on the right path i need to see the path and in order to be on the right path the first two things you have to have is a head coach and a quarterback you got it then from there can you give me some juice and Christian Kirk, shout out to him. I mean, that guy played so well, and he just makes it like everything else work for me on the offensive side for the Jaguars because by him being good, now, all right, cool, let's go find somebody else. Kelvin Ridley, great, Zay Jones, even a guy like Jamal Agnew that can provide some juice just on the punt return, kick return game, and even as a receiver, as a running back. He's just a weapon. And all of a sudden, these guys have weapons all over the place. And so... I love that ETN, and and again, this is why I say, and this is why we do we do this channel. Oh yeah, ETN, yeah, he had a pretty good year. It's like no, no, no you kind of dive into it. The guy was uh, absolute animal 
at Clemson during their prime years, by the way. So he's he's playing in big games. He's playing in, in the national championship. Absolute stud. A first rounder. Misses all of 2021. Comes back as a great 2022 along with the whole team just in this rebirth in 2022. And you just kind of, oh, yeah, and the, and the Jags should be good next year. It's like, why, though? Why should the Jaguars be good? Why are people excited? Is it just Homer fans that are excited? Or what? Like, what's the deal? No. You start looking at it. Travis Etienne is your is your running back. You can run the ball. You can throw the ball. Offensively, you're going to be – how can you not be good? I just – like, <laughs> you start looking at Kelvin Ridley, Trevor Lawrence, like, how can you not be good – um offensively and then defensively if you can get some stops here and there shoot win 28 21 all day long all day long and then you're in a division that's like wide open just take it you know so it's the same thing that you look at as a lions fan or whoever as as you're an up-and-coming team that you're expecting a lot win the division home playoff game and then win a playoff game and the next thing you know you're right there you're right there, a win or two away from the Super Bowl. Like that's how it happens. You have to win your division. I think for the Jaguars, not only are you good, but then the division's wide open. It's wide. It's just, why not us? Why not us in in that division? And then also, and I get it too. That yes, the AFC with the Chiefs, Bills, Bengals. Charger, you know, yes, I get the AFC as a general is going to in in general is going to be harder, but it's when your division and then you're going to have to play one or two games against a Cincinnati or or Kansas City, right? You don't have to go through all of them. They're going to knock each other out. So if you're thinking about Super Bowl or if you're thinking about how can we get deeper into the playoffs or can we really make a run at this, I think the I think the the hard hard conference thing. Um, oh, AFC is so loaded. That's true, but it doesn't mean you have to go through every single team. That's not how it works. That's a tournament, so you get knock knock each other out. So you really only have to beat Cincinnati once. You got beat Cincinnati once, and now you're in the AFC Championship game, or beat Cincinnati, and now you're in the Super Bowl, or whatever. You know what I? You, you get what I'm saying? So I think don't let that scare you. It's win the division. It's win the division, and 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 from there, and, and there's no reason why the Jaguars cannot you know, can't do this. And if I'm a Jaguars fan, I just continue to go back to, we have the coach and we have the quarterback. The rest is great. Yes. You need other pieces and yes, we have them. So let's go. So, Hey, let me know your thoughts in the comments on this. Jaguars are a team that we got to keep an eye on. Um, Again, we, this channel, we cover teams that deserve to be covered that have stories like this, that are just under the radar. That's not going to get covered by the national media. So let me know your thoughts in the comments and I'll see all of you on the next.